My name is Chris Ryan. For 11 years, I was in the SES, fighting in the most dangerous places on the planet. Now I'm back in action, traveling again to the world's danger zones to meet and operate alongside a new breed of fighter, elite police on the front line of the global war on crime. This is Sunka, Kazakhstan's secretive elite police force. They operate in one of the most far-flung regions of what used to be the Soviet Empire. For the first time ever, they've opened their doors to cameras from the outside. And they've let me in. A former SES soldier from a country that used to be their enemy. <laughs> Brilliant, unbelievable. Fucking hell! <laughs> For the next week, I will train with them and operate alongside them as they prepare for their next police mission. Theirs is one of the toughest law enforcement jobs in the world. A unit of only 120 men tasked with specialist police operations in a country the size of Western Europe. Tackling drug traffickers smuggling heroin from Afghanistan, threats from armed extremists infiltrating Kazakhstan's borders, and ruthless mafia gangs extorting businesses and running brothels. I've got a week to get to grips with a place and a people that I know very little about. A week to show I can still operate in one of the most hostile and dangerous environments in the world. This is what I used to do for a living. I'm in unknown territory, in a country which, until 17 years ago, was part of the Soviet Union. When I was in the SAS, this area of the world was closed off to me because of the Cold War. That's why I can't believe that I'm now heading towards one of the most sensitive places in the country, the academy that trains Kazakhstan's elite police unit, Sunka. I've no idea what to expect. My introduction to the unit is straight out of the days of the Soviet Empire. I'm being treated like an honoured guest, when what I really want to do is get to grips with this unit, to find out how they operate and what they're up against. Chris Ryan. If they get called out on a mission, I want to be going with them. Fortunately, protocol over, I get invited to join their ranks. Now it's down to business. The unit's name, Sunker, means fearsome eagle of the plains. The unit was set up in 1996 as a crack SWAT team. They carry out sophisticated and risky operations that the ordinary police can't handle. Hostage rescues, missions against mafia gangs, armed kidnappers and hijackers. This is a unit I'll be embedded with for the next week. First stop is the armory. The commander's just giving me a, a CZ-75. This is the, uh, the revolver they use. It's a 9mm, uh, holding a 13-round clip in there. 
The CZ-75, made in the Czech Republic, but copied widely around the world, is small and light and is recognised as a reliable combat pistol. It is standard issue to many police forces around the world. The pistol might be standard issue, but as I head to my first training day on the firing range, I get an early taste of why this police force is like no other. This is the Soviet-designed armoured personnel carrier, the BTR-80. It has been used by the Soviet army in Afghanistan and the Russians in Chechnya. And the sight of it here in the hands of the Kazakh police comes as a shock. This is uh, really unusual. I spent the first period of my military career uh, recognising one of these vehicles because that's who uh, would be chasing me um, if it ever went to World War III. And uh, here we are, you know, on the same side. It's unbelievable. Um, Oh, it takes me back anyway. The BTR-80 is fast and manoeuvrable. Its powerful engine can cope with the most rugged of terrains. And its two machine guns, which can be elevated to a 60 degree angle, are perfect for both urban and mountain warfare. It can survive a landmine attack and keep moving even if two of its eight wheels are taken out. Fully amphibious. This armoured personnel carrier is an exceptional piece of kit. We're going to get a quick demonstration of the 40 uh, mil cannon. It's a phenomenal round that comes out of here. Oh, yeah. I can feel the shockwave coming out over here. You can see the flash and the flame. You can see the rounds coming out. The sheer power of this weapon. My conversation with the Ops Commander throws up another surprise. You know, I first joined the Army, we would sit on the border and try and spot these vehicles. And I've just been speaking to the, the Commander. What's more bizarre, they could have actually been in one of these vehicles as I was watching them. Um, it just shows how times change. Thank you. Thank you. Fifteen years after leaving the SES, I get a chance to have a go on this amazing machine. Brilliant, unbelievable. I've never seen a police force with such heavy weaponry. My first day with Sunker is throwing up more questions than answers. What the hell does a police unit need with all this military hardware? Fucking hell! <laughs> I've come to Kazakhstan to spend a week with Sunka, the country's heavily armed SWAT team. Oh, yeah. This top secret unit is training me up to go on a real police mission with them, and they've given me unprecedented access to their training and operations. To weapons that I've never used before, weapons more suitable for the military than a police unit. Like the Soviet-designed BTR-80 personnel carrier, with its 14 millimeter main cannon. Well, it looks like they're, they're going to let me um, actually uh, get my hands on this machine and, um, and fire the old 14.5 uh, down the range. Uh, we've got to use this uh, communication system, uh, what the, uh, the crew use. It's uh, the headset, which uh, has the, uh, mics, the microphone and um, obviously uh, ear, ear, ear protection. It's a bit surreal. Here I am, learning to fire the main gun of a Soviet armoured vehicle, which could have been used to hunt me down when I was in the SAS. So, left 7.62, right 14 and a half. Brilliant, unbelievable. There's some firepower there, straight on target as well. So they've got 14 and a half millimeter pieces of lead hammering down there and just obliterating the target. It's just unbelievable. Um, and you could have your guys in the back in safety. If they were taking any rounds, you know, big deal. We've got these things to uh, spoil everybody's day. Anyway, do I look like a Russian tank commander? Next, the Pechenegg machine gun. Also